Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are doing, continuing our budget pre-con upgrades and we're looking at white now. So what is budget? I go to buy $2 or less and I, I'm using the TCG market value. Not a sponsor. Nope, not at all. Uh, Pre-con upgrade. So white is probably the favorite secondary color in a deck. I think it is number one. If you're going, if you're building a deck and you want to add a color, a lot of times you go white next. Um, I could be wrong, that's just my impression. Mono White has had the reputation for being underpowered. Uh, white has gotten a lot of boosts after over the last few years. It's becoming more and more popular as more mono color to be played. So even the, a lot of Facebook memes will be all about like how white is like less powerful than everything else. So like green is really big and then the others are medium and then white is just tiny. Anyway. White is great for its removal, combat effects, and recursion. Uh, all of which are important parts of any deck. So yeah, it really does a lot of work. It can fill a lot of gaps in a deck, so that's why I think it's so popular as a secondary color. Number five, Keeper of the Accord. Okay, this is a very popular card. Please don't get angry that I'm posting a popular card, but this is something if you're wanting to upgrade a white deck, definitely think about this one. Um, this was over five bucks for a while and it's come way down in price. That's one of the reasons I wanna look at it. Uh, it is three in a white. At the beginning of each player's end step, uh, if that player controls more creatures than you, create a one, one soldier creature token. Probably, Again, especially if you're playing like a multiplayer format, you mo very likely won't have the most creatures, so this is going to at least make a token. Eh, sure. It's not why we want this, really. And then, at the beginning of each opponent's end step, okay, each end step, if that player controls more lands than you, you may search a library for a basic planes card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. So this is going to keep just fetching out basic planes. Basic planes really are not bad. Um, it's going to be a lot of extra mana if you're playing against any deck that has. Um, if once again, especially this is I think great in multiplayer because there's going to be someone at the table or maybe two people at the table that have a bunch of ramp and they're going to be ahead, and that just means that you get to catch up. So this is again, this is a catch up card. This is all about like making up ground. Um, this is probably not good in combination with uh, like if you've got a lot of ramp, maybe green in general. I wouldn't do this in like a Celestia deck, but a lot of other things is, is going to just be huge. If you've got like Mardu especially, um, this is one of my like favorite Mardu cards. Um, again, this uh, came down in price because of multiple printings, I think at least. Um, also because I have it. Always, if if a card drops in price suddenly, it's because I have it. And a fly is attacking me, that's fun. Anyway, and I think, yeah, this card is interesting because it does, I think, kind of show how they're trying to fix white. You know, keep it very white. Ramp isn't really white, but catching up and balancing things out is very white. So this is a very white card that is not really ramp so much as like getting a yeah, keeping pace card. Anyway, 13 cents. Number four. Your temple is under attack. So for two and a white, this is an instant modal spell. Modal at instant speed. Two very good things to begin with. And pray for protection. Creatures, all of your creatures, gain indestructible until end of turn. Whoa, um, that's huge already. Uh, if you want to just be able to like avoid any kind of board wipe or anything, it's great for that. Also, two and a white for that effect is not overly like the mana cost on this. Usually on modal spells is much higher. This is actually on par. I would say this is pretty standard for making all of your creatures indestructible. But you also have another option. You and target opponent each draw two cards. As a political card draw, this is amazing. Like. This is something where you can, if you and another player are behind, you're like, hey, I can help you out. Um, 
maybe you know take care of this thing and then I'll I'll give you some card draw and uh, the kind of like deal making you can do with this is really good it's that's getting a little more meta but it is very very good anyway 180 now um, I started recommending this card a while ago and it was well under a dollar I'm kind of miffed that um, it's gone up to almost out of my budget range. Ah, not surprising, but still. Ah. Number three, Gisserai Monk. Four and a white for a 3-2. Okay, starting off a 3-2 with flying. Okay, it has flying, but a 3-2 flyer for five mana. Nah, not good, right? Let's keep reading though. Flash. Hmm. So instant speed, you can play it any time. And when it enters the battlefield, tap all creatures you don't control. Just the everyone else's creatures, tap down. Um, this is such an amazing card. You can use it as a win con if you just want to tap down someone's board and then just like take them out. Or you can use it defensively during their main phase. Uh, cast this and then uh, boom. All the creatures are tapped down. They can't attack you. Okay, you're safe for a turn. Um, especially if you can flicker, right? If you can flicker this, it is just crazy. Any flicker deck, I think, needs this card, okay? Even if you can flicker, I would put this card in. Because you can just keep doing this over and over, and it really is going to just, like, disrupt anything anyone else is doing. Only 11 cents. I think it's the mana cost that makes it 11 cents. If this was even like one or two mana cheaper, this would be a crazy expensive card, I think. Number two, Glory. My friend Ollie actually recommended this one. Oh, I forgot to say, um, Keeper of the Accord was recommended by Adam Genesis. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I meant to actually say that at the time and I can't remember anything. So there you go. Anyway, three white white for a three three flyer. Once again, five for a three three flyer. Not a good start, but we're going to keep reading. Two and a white. Choose a color. Creatures you control gain protection from the chosen color until end of turn. Activate only if glory is in your graveyard. So basically you want to get this to your graveyard, discard it, however, cast it, goes into the battlefield, gets taken out, goes to the graveyard, great. You know what? Sure. However, and um, yeah, you're just able to give all of your creatures, all of them, protection from any color you want at any time. If you've got open mana, you can, you're pretty much, your opponent's going to say, oh, target removal, pretty much don't do it, right? Any, any kind of like targeted anything really, um, any kind of spell that has a target. Board wipes still work and that's about it, right? Any kind of like thing that just hits everything will still work, but protection from a color will prevent any kind of targeted effect from working. It also means they can't be blocked by that color. So yeah, if someone's got a whole bunch of creatures that share a common uh, color, all you have to do is give all your creatures protection from that color, and hey, they can't block you. It's just like insane evasion for uh, three mana. Three mana, you can just like take someone out of the game. Um, whoa, whoa. Anyway, 16 cents. Number one, Mirror Entity, okay. So uh, this is two and a white for a one-one changeling. Eh. You can pay X until end of turn. Creatures you control have base power and toughness XX and gain all creature types. So basically, it makes everything into changelings. So any kind of uh, um, anthem effects are just going to like affect all of your stuff and their base power. You can increase that a whole bunch as well. Um, this just works in like any deck with kindred. Uh, any deck that with kindred uh, anthems, any deck that this, if you've got a token deck, throw this in there and you can just like buff up your tokens a whole bunch. Also, anything with like plus one, plus one counters. Remember, you're increasing the base toughness, not the overall stats. It's not saying all the stats change to this, it's saying the base power. So even if you cast it for, you put five into it, you make everything five fives, 
if they have a whole bunch of plus one plus one counters you can very easily make these into like just monsters this is also great for a commander because you can just increase your commander's uh base power and toughness uh, up to the point where you're uh one-shotting people with commander damage it did it, it's very sneaky anyway 63 cents The list. Keeper of the Accord, 13 cents. Your temple is under attack, 180, unfortunately. Gesserai Monk is 11 cents only. Under, under, under. Anyway, Glory is 16 cents. Another one that just like, why? Why is this not like an extremely expensive card? Getting something to your graveyard is not that hard. It's just not. Mirror Entity, 63 cents. Uh, yeah, just the Wincon ability of that is just amazing. Anyway, take it easy.